electrolysis for your face for permanent hair removal. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the red button below the video, and then click that little gray bell that appears, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video, and all of the videos will relate to you. Well, I don't know about you, but I've had little hairs on my chinny chin chin and they appeared first when I was about 30 or 31. I went to an electrolysis specialist and over time they didn't come back anymore and I was so thrilled. Then I hit menopause or just before and they started showing up again. So I had looked into laser also and I learned that it's better and more permanent to do electrolysis especially on your face and over time it is a permanent hair removal so some of those hairs will be stubborn and um, still come back but you'll notice that you don't have to go as often and each appointment there won't be as many hairs so I thought it would be fun to go to the electrolysis specialist I'm going to now. I let them all grow out and I'll trim them with scissors so that they're short and can't be noticeable before I show up at, for my electrolysis appointment. And now I even have them growing on my ears. I have one here and I have one she found over here. It's disgusting. I haven't actually gone yet. I wanted to get some video of myself before I go because once I go, sometimes she'll even do some hairs in my upper lip and that's really sensitive. It'll make my eyes water and then my makeup gets messed up a little bit. It also makes the area pretty red. So let's check in at electrolysis and then we'll look more closely to see how my skin looks afterward. And then tomorrow it will be all back to normal. Elaine starts off swabbing my skin with alcohol and then she uses a bright light and a magnifier to find each hair and zaps each individual hair with the current and then moves the loosened hair with tweezers. So she's not tweezing it out, it's already loose from being zapped. Then she did zap some hairs on the skin above my lip where it's much more sensitive than the chin. She found a stubborn thick hair and then she decided she needed to turn up the current. Oh, yay. And then I did make a face here because I knew it would hurt. Yee. And she zapped that thing and loosened it, of course, and pulled it right out. At the end, she applies a cooling gel, which feels so good. The total time was about 15 minutes for my appointment. I'm back and it's been about two hours since I had the electrolysis. So I'm not as red this time, but let's zoom in so that you can see how red it is. So there's my chin. I can kind of turn this way and go up. So as you saw, she swabbed me with alcohol first. She did the electrolysis and then put the cooling on after. But I really could, if I had to go back to work or go somewhere right after and didn't have time to reapply makeup, I could. This is something that men can do as well. So if men have too many hairs between their eyebrows or they've got hairs on or around their ears, like I do, this would be a great thing for men to do as well. As Elaine and I were talking, she said that laser is FDA approved, but they call it permanent hair reduction, but it's only electrolysis. It's called permanent hair removal. So that's why I would suggest you check it out. And the description box below, I have a link to an association that she told me about that's national where for the United States that you can put in your information and find someone local who's part of the association or you can just google it on your own and see if there are any electrolog electrologists available 
in your area. Make sure to find out from them how much they charge and what their minimum time frame is. Sometimes it's five minutes, most of the time it's 15, so that you know how much it is. Some of them do not accept credit cards, so you want to find out that as well, so that you can bring cash or, they don't take credit or debit, so you can bring cash or a, or a checking account. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.